Optical, Cellular Communication Systems and GSM. Welcome to Improve Your Knowledge. Microwaves are generally described as electromagnetic waves with frequencies that range from approximately 300 MHz to 300 GHz or more. There are many different types of microwave systems operating over distances that vary from 15 miles to 4,000 miles in length. Intrastate or feeder service microwave systems are generally categorized as short haul because they are used to carry information for relatively short distances, such as between cities within the same state. Long haul microwave systems are those used to carry information for relatively long distances, such as interstate and backbone route applications. Microwave Communications Microwave Repeaters 3. A microwave repeater is a receiver and a transmitter placed back-to-back -back or in tandem with the system. The repeater station receives a signal, amplifies and reshapes it, and then retransmits the signal to the next repeater or terminal station downline from it. Basically, there are three types of microwave repeaters, IF, baseband, and RF. Microwave Communications Advantages of Microwave Radio Radio systems do not require a right-of-way acquisition between stations. Each station requires the purchase or lease of only a small area of land. Because of their high operating frequencies, microwave radio systems can carry large quantities of information. High frequencies mean short wavelengths, which require relatively small antennas. Radio signals are more easily propagated around physical obstacles such as water and high mountains. Fewer repeaters are necessary for amplification. Distances between switching centers are less. Underground facilities are minimized. Minimum delay times are introduced. Minimal crosstalk exists between voice channels. Increased reliability and less maintenance are important factors. Disadvantages of microwave radio. It is more difficult to analyze and design circuits at microwave frequencies. Measuring techniques are more difficult to perfect and implement at microwave frequencies. It is difficult to implement conventional circuit components, resistors, capacitors, inductors, and so on, at microwave frequencies. Transient time is more critical at microwave frequencies. It is often necessary to use specialized components for microwave frequencies. Microwave frequencies propagate in a straight line, which limits their use to Lenov site applications. 5. Microwave Communications 6. Frequency Modulated Microwave Radio System 7. Communication between the base station and mobiles is defined by the standard Common Air Interface CAI, Frequency Division Duplexing uses two radio channel. Forward channel, base station to mobile user. Reverse channel, mobile user to base station forward voice channel fvc voice transmission from base station to mobile reverse voice channel rvc voice transmission from mobile to base station forward control channels fcc initiating mobile call from base station to mobile reverse control channel rcc initiating mobile call from mobile to base station 8 cellular systems basic concepts Cellular system solves the problem of spectral congestion. Offers high capacity in limited spectrum. High capacity is achieved by limiting the coverage area of each BS to a small geographical area called cell. Replaces high powered transmitter with several low power transmitters. Each BS is allocated a portion of total channels and nearby cells are allocated completely different channels. All available channels are allocated to small NO of neighboring BS. Interference between neighboring BSS is minimized by allocating different channels. 9. Cellular System Slash Network 10. Frequency Reuse The design process of selecting and allocating channel groups for all the cellular base stations within a system is called frequency reuse or frequency planning. Frequency Reuse Distance Minimum distance B slash W cochannel cells required to keep cochannel interference below certain threshold. Each cellular base station is allocated a group of radio channels to be used within. 
a small geographic area called cell base station of adjacent cell Sarah assigned channel group which contains completely different channels than neighboring cells if n cells which collectively use the complete set of available frequencies is called a cluster 11 frequency reuse frequency reuse cell geometry frequency reuse hexagonal cell shape is conceptual and is a simplistic model of radio coverage for each base station as the radiation from antenna is circular thus there is fading on the edges of triangle and square but in hexagon shape there is lesser fading on the edges when using hexagonal shaped cell base station areas are depicted as either being in center of cell ie central excited cell or on the three edges of the six cell vertices ie edge excited cell 13 14 for central excited cell omnidirectional antennas are used for edge excited cell sector directional antennas are used frequency reuse frequency reuse the base station antennas are designed to achieve the desired coverage within the particular cell. By limiting the coverage of a cell, the same group of channels may be used to cover different cells that are separated from one another by large distances enough to keep interference level within tolerable limit. After how many cells two cells assign the same frequency to use, frequency reuse concepts is used. Consider a cellular system which has a total of S duplex channels, total no of channels in a cluster if each cell is allocated a group of k channels and if s channels are divided among n cells into unique and disjoint channel groups total number of available radio channels in a cluster can be given as s equals kn if a cluster is replicated m times within a system total number of duplex channel c can be used as a measure of capacity and is given as c equals ms C equals MKN. Capacity of a cellular system is directly proportional to number of times a cluster is replicated in a fixed service area. Frequency reuse. Factor N called cluster size. Let total number of channel allocated for a cluster is M equals 395. Let N equals 7, N equals number of cells in a cluster, it means 395 slash 7 equals 57 frequencies is possible an average per cell to characterizing the frequency reuse. Frequency reuse factor of a cellular system is equals 1 slash n, since each cell within a cluster is only assigned 1 slash n of total available channels in the system. n equals cluster size is given by, n equals i2 plus j2 plus i dot j, i and j are integers. For i equals 1 j equals 1, then n equals 3. i.e. one cluster has three cells. n may be equals 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, 12, 13, 16, 19 etc. 16. 17. d equals distance b slash w center of two adjacent cells, r equals radius of cell d equals minimum distance b slash w center of cells that use same channels or frequency band co channels frequency reuse distance d2 equals 3 r2 i2 plus j2 plus i dot j d2 equals 3 r2 dot n d equals 3 n 1 slash 2 r or d slash r equals 3 n 1 slash 2 as d equals 31 halves dot r d slash d equals n 1 slash 2 frequency reuse locating cochannel cell 3 18 to find the nearest cochannel neighbors of a particular cell one must do the following a move i cells along any chain of hexagon b turn 60 o counterclockwise and move j cells channel assignment strategies cot frequency reuse scheme Increases capacity. Minimize interference. 19. 20. Fixed channel assignment. Each cell is allocated a predetermined set of voice channel. Any new call attempt can only be served by the unused channels. The call will be blocked if all channels in that cell are occupied. Dynamic channel assignment. 
Channels are not allocated to cells permanently. Allocate channels based on request. Reduce the likelihood of blocking, increase capacity.